and yeah, like, this is just a you know, it's a song for a piano. Um, it's by Michael Ortega. Oops, oh, you get the points by Michael Ortega. And um, it's a piano solo. If you haven't heard of this song, look it up on YouTube. Um, you type in the name of the song, and you can also write by Michael Ortega. It'll say. Uh, I think it'll say like something like sad piano, this will make you cry or whatever, but so I downloaded the sheet music for it. I'm just gonna tell you some things that I realize are wrong with this well different within this music. If you listen to the song, it's meant to be a sad, slow song. So to make it more dramatic, they add it's at seventy eight beats per minute, yeah. That's true. But what they do to it is this is what I do with some of the songs that I play. I actually take it and slow it down or speed it up at certain parts and also add in extra crescendos which I think should be added in there sometimes. So this starts up in a high F sharp then do a C sharp and an A chord and I, what I do with these two, they're meant to just be held, like this is the tempo. Dun, 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 dun. so on. So what I do is, that's the tempo, yeah, but I slow it down at some points. So um, I do not have my keyboard. Yeah, I guess I should have thought of that, but I'm not teaching you the song. So what I do is I basically just kind of slow it down. Like this is meant to be held right here and here too for a beat and a half. I extend it to about two, two beats to two and a half beats each. I slow it down and for you, those of you who don't know what this is, this means it means really quiet. Like play it really quietly, and that's actually true. That's what you want to do. Here, there's actually a crescendo on the left hand mainly. I, I, what I do is right here, where the top of that blue box is. There should be a crescendo, and it goes on just on the left hand though. So as you scroll down, it, this basically last part just repeats. And I, what I do is I slow down, like the speed slows down right here, because it gets a little more dramatic, and then it's really slow. And then here, for the left hand, it gets uh, the the right hand, they're both the next low octave, I think. Yeah, they're both just one octave down. It's the same part, but a little different with the left hand. I, I think the first measure should be like a crescendo for both left and right hand, and then it stays at uh, mezzo forte. really shouldn't start there. Because if you heard this song, you'd see why. And right here, when it gets into the da 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 that next part, um, I think it should, you know, these are, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but if you're like someone who plays this song a lot, because I've seen some pretty bad tutorials, I mean, not tutorials, um, covers. Like way up here, oops, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. Sorry, it's lagging. Way at the beginning, instead of a C sharp and an A, which this is, they play a C sharp and a B flat. I have no idea why B flat is not even in here. Oh, technically, yeah, it is, but actually, no, it's not. Because see, it's it just says that the uh, C, F, and G's are sharps. So it doesn't say anything about the A's being sharp. Because if the A was sharp, oops. If the A was sharp, then yeah, that, that'd be right, but they're just playing the notes wrong, they're just, so, and the tempo's really wrong too, so I'm just giving this out there if you want to learn how to play it. I might be posting a tutorial on actually how to play it, so, okay, I'm off trap, where was I? Um, oh yeah, right here, it, I think it really slows down, just, just at like the last three or four notes right here. And at the very last one, it holds out for like a beat and a half, and then he starts playing this next part. And this part right here, where you get to a, oops, when you get into a high F natural, back to F, F sharp, C sharp, and then the next part. Right in here, you hold this out for about four and a half beats, and then this is slow, and then crescendo again, and then whatever, but. I'm just basically, this may sound confusing, but if you just replay what I'm saying, you'll eventually understand it. Um, yeah, so right, the first part is I'm just changing the dynamics of the sheet music. The next video will be 
actually teaching the song, you know, all the notes and how to play them. Um, and at the end, it plays right here. Oh, God. Um, try and highlight it. Uh, the kind of lagging, but these last two sets, or, or eight measures, I should, well, sorry, last nine measures, is basically repeating the very, for the very top of the song. It's the same as way up there. So, I, because it's, okay, sorry about that. Anyways. It's, it's just right here, so it's playing the first nine measures of the song. Well, technically the first seven, because these last two are different. Playing the first seven measures of the song the exact same way. So, they, I actually, it's mezzo piano right here, and it doesn't change. I think it should be uh, quieter than that, because it's it just, like, to make it a little more dramatic, I don't know, but... So that's it for the dynamics, really. And there's a link. I'm gonna try. Uh, there's a link in the top right annotation, right here, or something, where um, I basically just put the uh, link to the song. If you just didn't feel like typing it in, because you're that lazy, um, <laughs> I put that up there for you. Listen to the song if you want to learn it annotation right here on my piano lesson. There you go. See ya.